And what you see here is, are you kidding me? Of course, only an ice cream man would be driving around in Arizona in the middle of March. During this video, we're going to look at something that we saw at CES 2019. This was at the Alpha Cool Suite. It had a lot of their products in there, and we thought, well, it's just a showcase kind of a display. But little do we know that this is actually something more than that. So, like I said, we saw this first at CES at the Alpha Cool Suite. So we're like, oh, really cool, checking out the products that are in there. And it's really nice and neat, and we got to see everything. That's all in there. Well, like, cool, see all their other products. So a little while after that, we get this message from AVA Direct, like, hey, would you guys like to look at a system for us? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, who, who wouldn't? So they're like, well, it's this one we had up at CES. We're like, ah, send an email. Is it this one? That's the one, like, absolutely. Love to see it. So the reason they send it to us is that, well, they know that I've been doing case mods for like the past 20 years. They wanted to, me to really look at it and more than the benchmarking side of it is really the quality and the hardware that was picked to use inside of this. But the thing I want to stress the most is that what we found out is that this is actually going to be sold. Okay, this is going to be the Section 9 from AVA Direct. I didn't know it was going to be sold. I wonder if it's something they came up with after the show. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into this. I'm going to show you what I find in the case. And then I'm going to talk to a little bit about the hardware and all the other products that are also inside the, the system. So let's dive into this. So right now, as you can see, uh, its system is on and it's in the white LED mode, which is okay. These lights actually do change, but the white is actually better for what I'm trying to present to you and that you can see everything much, much better. So the case is the Inwin 303. This case is normally white, but as you can tell, it looks a little different color than the normal white. Why is that? Well, it's been painted. I don't know who did some of this work on the case. I know a couple of the products that were made by certain people, but I do not know who actually put this case together. I don't know if it was AVA Direct or if they had somebody else do it, but are they gonna be doing the same finish? You know what, I'm not quite sure about that, but I sure hope they do because this finish on it is fairly easy to replicate. Shouldn't take too much time. So first off, as you can see, and I'll turn it this way so you can see a lot more of the case. It is not just a stark white case. I like to call it like maybe a, a dry brush effect. So that's where you do is you take some color paint and you really kind of thin it out. And then with that, you take a big brush. Yeah. The bigger the brush, the better on this kind of a piece. Or you can take, gosh, you could even take like a roller if you wanted to and go across it. And what that does is it leaves these streaks. And you can even take a paper towel or a rag and lightly go across of it and go across and make even more of a design. Now they did this on the whole case. You can see this is the back side. This is the front, a little around the edging. I mean, even the back, the whole design. Now, what I thought was super cool is that they also did the inside of the case. Most people will not do that, okay? I'm telling you right now, most people will not go that extra step and do the inside of the case. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna start on the back side of the case, right? Because that's where all the cable's at. Now, if that side's good, I'm probably pretty much guaranteed that the inside of the case is gonna do well. So give me one second while I just undo the thumb screws take it off okay now this is cool see again when I said everybody does the outside of the case normally not the inside they even did the back panel the inside of the back panel has been painted and has that effect kudos kudos to that kudos to whoever did it great job all right so looks pretty good from the back side I am uh, pretty impressed so far so let's take a look at that now you can see it the cabling that is done by mainframe customs. So all this sleeve cables is all done by mainframe. And it looks like they've done a really good job of routing the cables. Looking at it, looking at it. Yeah, I would say so. So one of the techniques that 
a good modders use is like minimizing as many cables as possible, okay? Because that's what you want to do. To me, I'm just a freak about cable management. And I also want to look at case mods. And when I'm doing the judging of them, I look at the cable management. But if it looks like crap on the inside, oops, I'm sorry. To me, that's just not finished. But as we can see here, is that they have routed the cabling pretty cleanly. And what another trick is route as many cables as possible with each other to the, wherever the area that you have to go. So if you have to have some cables that run down and go through and go through the front side of the case, run as many as possible together. That way it makes the back side as clean. What they've done here is they've done exactly that. They're in this whole batch. And then when it comes down and you're looking at the cabling that goes to the SSD drives and such and all the lighting, it's all been put together. Looped just right. Great. So here are all the stuff that comes from the front, right? So your on off and your IO ports and all your USB and everything else is on the front. Very tightly, very neatly done. They've overlapped some of the cables back upon themselves to minimize the spacing and very well done. I don't see anything that's been like tucked away and trying to be hidden away. That's another little trick that some people try to do. Sure, we've got this extra cabling up on top, but I'm okay with that because it's actually wrapped up very nicely. All the other cabling that comes up through here runs with it. Again, back to that trick, making all the cabling that goes together. So, so far, I am very impressed with this side of the case. This also gives me a good look at how the sleeving is. Sleeving is nice and tight. Looks very well. Looks like they've done some heat shrink here where you got the two wires that go into the power supply together on this one. Did a great job on that. Uh, yep, they're the same, same length, see? I'm telling you, I'm pretty detailed about this stuff. So even the heat shrink is the same size and it looks very, very good. So yeah, so far I'm really kind of liking this. Very clean on the backside. So I give this a pass on my side. Oh, and I see what they've done here. And I don't think this is there normally. So whoever did the case here actually cut a slot on the inside so you can get to the custom reservoir so you can get to fill it and vent it. Good, good call, good call. <laughs> All right, so let's look on the front side. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this panel off. Remember, this is the Inwin 303. It does have a tempered glass panel on the front. It's all glass except for the top and the bottom. This is just where it kind of locks into the bottom of the case and where it latches. So let's take a look at this. So what I see right up from the beginning is that the coloring is great. Okay, you don't want to overdo the coloring. You don't want to put like five or six or seven or eight different colors. Pick your highlighted colors that you want and stay with that, right? So keep and match things to that. So what they did here is a really good job with that. Again, kudos whoever did this. So the basic colors that they picked was kind of a the color of the case is kind of a, a grayish color, I'm going to call it. Purple, as you can see, and then black. And they stayed really close to those colorings as much as possible. So what you've got is the purple inside of the cabling, the purple with the fluid, and the purple that's been painted on the fans that are up on top. And they've also painted the purple along here. She's also on the GPU. And they've also done it on the motherboard itself. Great job. Oh, well, even the SSD, they painted the SSD. Very nice, very nice. So if I were to judge this case as of right now, I would say that um, as a customized or a modded case, I wouldn't say it's overly modded. I would say that it is very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. Nothing would strike me over the top as a case mod, right? But if you want a custom case, something that is gonna be yours, then I would give this probably, oof, eh, at least in the top 10 in a, in a 
case mod contest. Now as a custom mod and something that people would be buying or that I would sell, uh, it's way up there. <laughs> it, it is very much up there. So they went through and they painted each fan. And you can see that the fans were painted basically at the same time because they kept with the same coloring. Also with the, the GPU, it's got the purple tint to it. It's got the purple here. It's got the purple on the SSD drive, purple down here. Very nicely done, keeping that in. They tried to match the coloring of the cables so the sleeving on the cable, the purple, to the purple that is inside of the fluids. Now, something that I would be judging as well in a case mod contest, so that's how I'm basically trying to do uh, with this case and this uh, system is figure it, how would I judge it? Now, one of the things I would look at is how the bins, how are the bins in the tubing? And how does it look? And how does it match? So what I can see is that the 90 degree tubing bins are 90 degree tubing bins and they did it just right so they could have checked the cheap way out right i mean literally I, I'll, I'll tell you that they could have took the cheap way out and went up made a 90 went right in come out make a 90 go across i mean they could have just said nah i'm not gonna do that but when they put this together they made these designs it just added to the whole look of the case so you get all these 90s very well done they actually go in 90 straight. This one's not tilted off to the left or the right or up or down at all. It is a 90 degree bend. One of the other things that I'd be looking at is that do the tops of the piping line up with each other as they go across? And it does. Very nice detail, okay? Very nice on that. The cabling, they did a very decent job making sure that all the cabling that you don't need to see is not seen. And that's kind of an effect that they did with the lighting. So let's go with the lighting. So this lighting is controlled by the Corsair Node Pro. And they also do the Corsair LED strips is what they've been using. It's set right now into the white mode. That way it really kind of pops out to you a lot better than having all the colors and stuff going around. But you can adjust that using their software, the IQ software. So what they did is they hid the strips as best as they could along the edgings of the, of the case. They also, which is again, a nice touch, is that they hid one of the strips on the back side of the radiator, which as you can see, you can see my hand really well. This is not just from these lighting, this is from the inside, but they really brought the color out and the lighting of the lights uh, really brings out the, the hardware inside of the case because of that particular lighting. Okay, something else that people wouldn't think about is, no, I don't know, if that, I'm guessing since they did all this other stuff that they're, they're on the ball with this part too. So you're gonna have your cables that come down right through here. So you've got where your front connection ports, everything hooks up to the motherboard. Now you don't wanna highlight that, right? So don't put any lights down here. Boom, that's what they did. No lightings down here. It's all on the top and the sides. Makes a nice dark shadow back here and you don't see the cables underneath there. But you actually get down and you look and go, oh yeah, I can see them. But they didn't want to highlight that. They want to highlight everything else. Really, really good job on that. One of the things that I noticed is that there's a custom reservoir in there and it is listed on the website. And this is made by Clockwork Industries. Great stuff. Great stuff. I'm sure they did these cable combs that are on here as, as well. So the guy does all this work in basically his garage and at his home. But he's got the equipment. He just purchased a new CNC machine. I think that thing's $15,000, $20,000. So he's taking this very seriously, okay, as a business. You can go over to his website and check out. He's got a whole bunch of stuff. Clockwork Industries. The cabling is, like I said, it's done by Mainframe Customs. They do a lot of that stuff. You can buy the sleeving material. You can buy a whole bunch of products also over there at their place. Check that out. But you know, these people are professionals and they are doing it uh, as a business. So it has to be spot on. So the water cooling, I mean, everything Apple Cool makes, uh, enough said. So one of the other cool things about 
system is that, well, the hardware that they chose. So I'm a firm believer that you don't have to have all the stuff right at the top unless you're just showing off. Okay, and I know there's plenty of people out there that's that's all they do. They have to go buy the latest and greatest. Good luck to you, because if you got money to burn, then uh, I get some stuff I need to sell you. But what they picked for this was the Intel 9700K. That's a great processor. The GPU, it's the 2080 RTX. Okay, exactly what I got. Not the same company. I have a different company that I've been using, but the 2080. Great for performance, 16 gigabytes of crucial RAM, right? Same thing I got, I get 16 gigabytes. Does wonders, does great. Storage, again, so you got the M.2, put that, put your system on there, and then you've got the SSD, put all your games and all other stuff on there, and you've got plenty of room also to add more. So if you want another drive or something, you can add that as well. But I would have bought most of this stuff in here myself. So overall, as a custom case, I don't know what else you could do. I mean, the other ones that you buy out there from other manufacturers don't have these custom aspects to it. Sure, you buy the custom loops or whatever, but the paint and all this other stuff, wow. And the pricing that they're selling this for, I can tell you right now that if this was me and I had to buy all the hardware, and put this together and sell it to somebody, if it was a client, it would be, uh, they would basically be paying for the hardware, right? Right up front, I'll tell you that. Everything else is just gonna be labor. The labor intense of this, I would probably sell this to somebody for about $6,000. I can tell you right now that this is going to be selling for a lot less than that. For all the labor that was put into these cases, whatever you pay for that price, if it's, if it's under $6,000, you are getting a steal. I can tell you that. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe and also click that little bell that's somewhere down there. That way you get notified whenever we put brand new videos up. Also go over to moddersinc.com. Check out all of our other reviews, all the events that we go to, and all the other great crazy stuff that we do over there as well. Also take a look down in the comment section. We have some stuff down there that would kind of help us out.